Welcome to the Dungeon of Bad Decisions. This is the second installment of Anna Attempts to Explain Things. I'm your host, Anna, and today's topic is the entire concept of Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu is a rough system to play. You don't win so much as you survive. It's based on the works of classic horror writer H.P. Lovecraft, and one of its defining mechanics, to me, is the sanity system. You start with a certain amount of sanity, and it is entirely dependent on your dice rolls at character creation. As a result, you can have a hallucinating, heroin-addicted homeless man with a higher sanity score than the noir-style de detective, to name one specific example from my own experience. If you see a dead body, you lose sanity. If you see a mutilated corpse, you lose sanity. If you see an eldritch symbol or item, you lose sanity. And if you see an actual eldritch abomination, God help you, because you lose so much sanity. You get sanity back by alcohol and time. That's it. Those are the only ways to get it back. There are no healing potions, no forms of magic that will really be of benefit to you. And it doesn't matter what you do in a session, you are going to lose sanity. If you lose five or more sanity in an in-game hour, you get some kind of phobia or mania which can range from an irrational fear of vegetables to psychosomatic blindness, depending on how much you lose in one go, and what the DM finds or rolls in the multitude of tables provided in the rule book. Once your sanity gets down to the teens or twenties or less, you're probably going to have to retire to your character and roll up a new one, so don't get too attached. To be honest, the sanity system turned me off from Call of Cthulhu for a long time, but I found a DM whose style I like, and now I play it regularly. The sanity system aside, it's a pretty fun game, assuming you have a thoroughly nihilistic sense of humor. Basically, you and your friends are only on this earth for a short time, you are going to suffer immensely, and if you're very lucky, you are going to live a little longer than the others, but only so you can suffer for longer. And then you die, raving and screaming and in pain and pants sweating terror. But at least you stopped those cultists from sacrificing more small children to summon that mind-breakingly awful eldritch abomination. You did a good thing! Go you! That's pretty much all I've got. Does it sound appealing? No? That's okay. We're all going to die anyways. Life is suffering. You know, just don't die too horribly. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Tumblr where I post quotes, anecdotes, photos, and occasionally recordings of the tabletop games I play in at thedungeonofaddecisions.tumblr.com. There's a link in the description as well. If you really enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Roll 20s, y'all!